Alright, well, thanks to a new friend, I got the program he told me to get and called me a noob. Yeah. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna show you how to make a um, CSS server. First, go to your computer, compact your C drive, create a new folder, name it S R C D S. Now, you want to go to the Steam website. Steam, right there. You yeah, on top, you should see what is Steam. Click on that. Yes. You'll get this page. Scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says Windows HLDS Update Tool. Save file. Download it, yes, yes, open it. Allow. Next, I agree. You want to make sure it goes to your folder you just made, and it'll be called update. Next, next, copy. This, you want to put where you live. For me, it's east. Next, you don't need to view the readme, forget about that. Okay, and now you should open your thing and you should have the folder right there, yes. With some new programs in there. Okay. Alrighty. Now that you have all of those things in there, you're gonna wanna click on the HLDS update tool and create shortcut. Put the shortcut wherever you want. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. Minimize that for now. You want to rename this one to update. Alright. You're gonna wanna right click, go properties, and change this with this code which I will put in the video description because I don't feel like saying it. You can look at that if you want. Just change the target to that and hit apply. Okay. Gonna want to open this thing. Yeah, it's all right there still. Now you're gonna want to run your new thing you just named update. Wow. Now it's going to put more stuff in the folder. And this can take a while. Maybe like 30, 35 minutes or so. I'm going to pause the video and let this work. It's magic. Alright, my updater just finished right here. Gave me a lot of new folders as you can see. C strike, maps, materials, CFG, all that good stuff. Once you open your SRCDS folder, you should have a SRCDS.exe. Want to make a shortcut here like I did. Want to rename it to run SRCDS. So properties on it, you're going to want to change the properties again, and yeah, here's another big code I don't feel like saying, so I'll just leave it in the link description, change it to that, you can change the max player to whatever you want, and you can change the map to whatever, apply, okay, oh yeah I forgot, and that properties it says your IP you're gonna wanna go get your IP you do that you wanna hit start type C M D enter so you get a little box looking like this type IP config and your IP will always be the first one you should have three numbers the first one on the right is your IP so you just wanna change that Okay, we're done with that. Now you're gonna want to go to this handy little website, which I'll have a link for, called cstrikeplanet.com. See if it makes your CFG. Here you can name your server, it does all your server configs. I'm not gonna go through all this. 
you'll just have to read into it and then once you're done with whatever you did go to the bottom hit run CFG maker all right you're gonna get one of these things just copy all this put it in a notepad file and you're gonna wanna name it game dot cfg which i already did right here yes see and you're going to want to put the game that cfg in your cfg folder of course move and replace there you go all right well now your server is pretty much done you're just gonna have to finally double click on the run SRCDS and it should open this little box source dedicated server it's gonna say a lot of stuff the bottom will say back secure mode is now activated and the top should be green if it's green like that that means it worked congratulations but people can't join yet sorry you have to forward your ports which you'll need to forward use these right here I'm not going to teach those in this video but if you go to this website um, www.portforward.com this will teach you everything you need to know about port forwarding hope this video helped